tell me a story. Tell me stories about ways that that you all have taken advantage of what Riverstone Village has to offer. Um, my yeah. name is Rakea, and what one of the things that I like to do in my free time because I go to Riverstone is go to the art room and paint with watercolors of my designs mm -hmm. that I do. Mm -hmm. Right on. And I stick them on my wall at home as like a little token. Oh, neat. Great. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Anybody else like to go next? Hello, my name is Bonolo, um, and I like to spend time making origami and things and things made out of paper and I draw and I like to paint mm -hmm. a lot. So nice. that's what I do. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay. I don't have much to say. Okay. So. You don't have to answer everything. It's yeah. absolutely nope. voluntary. <laughs> like everything everything here at Riverstone is always voluntary and by consent. Right on. Okay, I think Hang I on a sec. Kate's still talking. Right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kate. My favorite thing is making like friends and meeting mm. tons of new people. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah, it's thing. Right. Uh, hello, my name is Hassan, and I think one of my favorite parts of Riverstone is the amount of free time you have. Because mm. I have a lot of hobbies. Uh, right on. There's wood carving, embroidery, which I have my stuff here. I can't name them. I'm... Dissecting things? Yes, I'm trying to remember them. Dissecting things, there we go. Um, making skeletons. We built a pig skeleton once here. Uh, Egg Island. Egg Island, yeah. I had enough time to develop a game. Oh, neat. Right now, it's a board game. I just want to just grab the thing. Yeah. Show it. Yeah, we can actually show you the board, oh. yeah. It's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. It, it is upside down, yeah. <laughs> Wow. That's like, um, a kind of a almost like a sort of a D and D type game that works on a board. Yeah, D and D has yeah D and D has a lot more uh, freedom when it comes to making what you want, but mm -hmm. the game has certain mm -hmm. rules and uh, parts that you can play. Mm -hmm. and it's called egg island. Very cool. Because mm, it's shaped like an egg. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Don't be mad. Hello, my name is Angelo. Um, I think one of my favorite um, parts of Riverstone is having the opportunity to discover what I enjoy and what I would like like to do in future, even if it's not like for a long t uh, period, just for mm. more um, shorter times, like new hobbies, discover new things, discover new people, um, and just a whole bunch of knowledge that I wouldn't really get the opportunity to discover if I was in a more mainstream school because I'd be too busy with a different task trying to pass grades rather where now right. I can do the same thing but I have more um, leeway to discover other things as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Cool. So so how many of you have experience in other kinds of schools in addition to being at Riverstone? Or are you all just there all the time? <laughs> okay. Uh, um, no, I've been here my whole life. I've been right on. I went to kindergarten. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, we went to a kindergarten one time, but that's all. Yeah. Right on. I mean, right on. Um, I have a faint memory. I used to go to the school with my brother, and so on and so on. They would let me play around, and I would find it cool. But I just had no friends, and I was always alone, and mm. no one wanted to hang out with me. So now, when I'm here, I have, you know, tons of friends. Nice. To hang out. Nice. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.